Welcome to this step-by-step -step video tutorial on adding pagination to your Golang web application using Jin and Gorm. Pagination is crucial for handling large data sets in your application and we'll show you how to implement it effectively. So, let's dive in and learn how to take your Golang web application to the next level with pagination. We have this simple application that displays the list of all blogs on this URL, approximately there are more than 35 blogs on this page. We will add pagination to this API. Let's look at the code. Here in the main.go file, we have a couple of routes defined. This is the API on which we want to add pagination. Here is the handler function, blogs index. Let's glance through it. It uses the blogs all function implemented in the model to fetch all blogs from the DB. The next statement, this one, is responsible for rendering the HTML page that displays the blog list to the user. Without further ado, let's change the code to accommodate pagination. In general, to fetch records in pages, we pass two arguments, page and page size, in the URL. These translate to limit and offset in the query to the database. One way to implement pagination is to retrieve page and page size arguments here in the handler function. Here, we read page and page size and then pass them to the model to fetch records using limit and offset. This is not a good approach as we will have to do the same in all handler functions where pagination is required. There is another way that GORM provides. Here, in GORM documentation, they have mentioned a way to implement pagination using scopes. Here, they created a function called paginate that is a scope and can be used like this with any GORM function like find and where. Let's look at the implementation of the function. Page and page size are read here. the validation of the values is implemented. The offset is calculated here, and in this statement, the offset and limit are chained to the query. Now, when this scope is used, offset and limit are automatically chained to the query. This modified query will retrieve a specific chunk of data based on the calculated offset and page size. We will tailor this approach to suit Jin. Let's copy this function to a new file in the models directory called utils.go. We will store all utility functions used in the models in this file. First, let's change this argument to Jin context. Get the page argument from the context. and now convert it to an integer. Similarly, get page size. Now let's use this scope in the model. To use it, we need the context to be passed to the model function. To add the scope, we can chain it with the rest of the query like this. Restart the server and refresh the page. It shows only records as ER have set the page size to 10 as default. Now, we can pass page and page size arguments to retrieve other pages. Here is how we can get the second page. Though this serves the purpose, it will be great if we can show page range on the page and the user can go navigate without passing the arguments in the URL. Let's do this. To show the page range, we need to know the total number of pages. Let's make changes to the paginate scope function. To get the total number of pages, we need the total number of items retrieved by the query. With this statement, we get the DB session. We will not chain anything to this DB session as it will alter the query done in the model. We will make a clone. Now, 
we retrieve the count of rows using this query in the variable total. Getting the total number of pages is simple math. Next, we add page, page size, and total pages in GIN context. Now, we need to pass these variables set in the context to the view so that the page range can be rendered. Let's read the context to set data. At last, we will use this data in the view template. Here in the view template, we add a div with ID and class pagination. We will populate this div with page range using this JavaScript code. You can explore this code in your free time. Now let's run this program and refresh the page. Here we have the page range, and you can see how by clicking the page number how it works. Visually, the page range is not appealing. You can use frameworks like Bootstrap to make it look good. Thanks for watching and happy coding.